Okay, so the next one, uh, it has a little figure, and let's draw it right here. We've got a ring, and then there is B field, which is pointing out of this ring. Okay, and it says the following. A non-conducting plastic hoop is held in a magnetic field that points out of the figure. As the strength of the field increases, so B field is coming out towards you and it's increasing, we need to figure out what's gonna happen to the EMF in this loop. And here are some choices. An induced EMF will be produced that causes a clockwise current. No induced EMF will be produced. An induced EMF will be produced that causes a counterclockwise current. An induced EMF will be produced, but no current. Hmm. What do you guys think? You like the last one. Why do you like the last one? Okay. EMF is negative delta B over delta T. And we know what delta phi is, right? It can change B, it can change A, or it can change theta. So is something changing? Yes. They tell us that B increases. So B increasing means that this is non-zero. Okay, so EMF is produced. Now, what we said was EMF being produced means that there will be a current generated in this loop. But you can think of this loop as composed of metal and a resistor. And what they tell us is that it is a non-conducting plastic hoop. So if it's plastic, what is R? Approximately. Or we should say approaching. It's approaching infinity. All right? What is the current that develops? I is equal to V over R which is EMF epsilon over R. The epsilon was not zero, of course, but the resistance is basically infinite. So you do produce an EMF, but you produce no current. I like the last one as well. Let's click that and submit it. And that is indeed correct. Okay. EMF is produced, but no current flows because the resistance is infinite. Sarah, is that okay? All right.